welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Coral Island, where we just unlocked a whole lot of things. First off, pretty much everyone loves us. I mean, apparently Kenny and Joko uh, absolutely adore us. Um, so does Paul. So, people love us. It's incredible. Um, not everyone, not everyone loves us. Some people we don't run into as much and talk to as much. Like poor Emma over here and Eleanor. But everyone made huge strides towards loving us yesterday. We also leveled up farming. So we get to choose between stay hydrated. Eh, we're going to get sprinklers at some points. Don't need that. Quality crop, which we can do with fertilizers. And double crop. It's a smaller chance, but we need to take both of these anyway. And I have no care in the world for that. So at the moment, we're going to do this. Um, that's cool. Crop prices and crop express. That's that's going to be interesting stuff. We'll get into that once we can see it better. We also unlocked a whole bunch of stuff here. So, compost bin. Turns trash into compost, helpful in making fertilizer. Uh, yeah, we're, we're doing that. We're getting one of those. Sprinklers, that, that's expensive. I don't like that. Mm. We're going to have to figure out our kelp situation a little bit better first. We can just force to send the mines, but that takes almost all of our stone. We can't quite get this extractor, and we can't quite get to the furnace, but we're getting there. We'll be there soon. For now, let's make compost and um, scrap as much as we can, I think. It's raining, so we get to go mining today. Weather for tomorrow, rainy again. We get to do more mining, fantastic. The detective show, this is the same episode we saw with the cat, so no need to pay attention to that. We may harvest, we may replant, but that's about it. Um, greetings, Myra. We've started a new initiative called Merit Points, a reward system for community involvement. I'd love to explain more in person. Join me at the community center soon. I'm looking forward to it. Your best, Millie. Greetings, Myra. I'd like to run an idea by you about local produce. Meet me at the general store when you have time. We need food anyway. So we can go and meet up with both of those people. I would love to have more fertilizer, but uh, that's not a thing at the moment. So we're going to have to figure that out. We may just need... I would like to plant sooner rather than later. I'm not going to lie on that one. would really prefer that. We're going to keep these machines nice and full. We're going to try and get some of that fertilizer in. I mean, we just don't have enough of this compost. So that may just need to wait. And we don't have the extractor to make these useful. Um, that's a chest, not a coffer. Okay. Let's go check in with Sam and Millie and maybe sell more stuff and buy some food and maybe not bread bread may not be the way to go I don't know
need to be coming over here. I mean, we could buy some fertilizer, but I'd rather not. Hello there, Myra. I'm glad you could make it. recently implemented a system in town to make life here even more rewarding. Let me explain. These are called merit points. You can earn them by completing errands posted on the town board right here in town. But that's not all. Attending festivals, winning the minigames or main events with them, and even the town's rank increase can also grant you merit points. For example, you, my blossoming butterfly, have already earned, let's see. Myra, Myra, ah, there you are. You've earned 40 merit points for attending the Cherry Blossom Festival. We introduced this system to encourage everyone to get more involved with the community. Over there, at the merit exchange counter, you can exchange the points you've earned for various items. Trust me, it's worth the effort. So there you have it, Myra. I'm looking forward to seeing you earn those merit points. Sweet. Can we buy Kel? I wonder. Let's see. What can we buy here? Looks like experience potions. And what I want to see is this here stamina fruit. That's what I want. I don't know. It says it's a quest item. So I think it's like a star fruit. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out, won't we? for pets. So a pet house for an outdoor pet or indoor pet beds. Very cute. All out of stock probably until I upgrade my house. I would assume. But they're so cute. Oh, just look at them all. They're so cute. Is it funny? It's a bunny! Lindy is adorable. Oh, Frankie's pretty. It's a, it's a fox! Oh, you guys, this is gonna take a lot of effort. We might need a voting poll for a pet. Malcolm. Malcolm's adorable. Hayestrum. Okay. That's one of the uh, backer ones, I think. Omar. Ah, uh, Gary Kun. Kit Kat. There's one up there named Kit Kat. Look at them. They're just so cute. so cute. They're all so cute. Okay. We will adopt one at some point. We've wasted a lot of time though. That I'm supposed to be spinning in the mines. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at this. Okay. Calendar. There's nothing going on today, but Scott and Oliver have birthdays tomorrow. Okay. Aaron's, we have nothing new. Sam has a quest. Oh, I hope this quest doesn't happen with trash. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm glad someone thought of that. Actually, it's probably easier this way. Myra, you've become quite the regular. 
Working hard at the farm, huh? Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Good, good. I see that you're also getting much use of the shipping then. Your shipment is always a huge hit with the townsfolk. I think we all miss the taste of local produce. Here, let me show you something. This is our import section. Everything on this side is imported. I have to say, it, it's very expensive to get them here. The shipping costs, taxes, that sort of thing. They add up surprisingly fast. I've done my best to keep prices low. My margins are razor thin. But it's just not enough. Any lower and we'll go under. And this here is our local section. It's so empty and really sad to look at. As soon as I receive your crops, I put them all here and they're selling like hotcakes, flying off the shelves as it were. It wasn't always like this. Back in the day when my folks were in charge, the whole store used to be stacked top to bottom with local produce. Something to be proud of, but now, we have no choice but to sell imported produce only. I'd love to reopen the local produce section, but need your help to do it. And this task is simple. You need to ship a lot of bronze quality vegetables and fruits. I've jotted down the exact amount on this note. And of course, I will pay extra for this effort. I think extra coins on top of your usual crop commission when the whole order is filled, hmm? So, we can't sell him these ones. That's fine. We still have quite a bit we can. So, if we take a look real quick at that. And I pause right quick. I apologize for that. Alright. So, if we go into our quests. Local produce. 25 bronze quality fruit. And 50 bronze quality vegetables. Fruit's gonna be a trick and a half, but okay. Shopping. How much is fertilizer? 40. You know what? That'll do for right now. I know the turnips sell for like that much. But it's fine. <laughs> because silver turnips sell for a lot more. And we'll also ship the bronze ones. And we're only gonna need a little bit of fertilizer for a couple of days. So we'll go and we'll put in the 20 fertilizer and 20 seeds that we got today. And then we'll just be waiting for the compost to make more fertilizer. And we should even have a little bit before we go mining. I forgot to buy food. Well, I'm an idiot. That's fine. For the whole reason we went to town and I didn't do it. We're just... Gonna go massively deep in the turnips at the moment. We wanna go all in on turnips. All in on the turnips. I missed one somewhere. I know that I did. I don't think that's got any fertilizer behind it. Okay. And let's craft a bit more. I don't know. I mean, I have tree seeds, but 
Not as much as I want. Okay, five's pretty good though on that. Now let's grab out um more trash. We will start going through that pretty quick. And I wanted more seats. Didn't I have more seats? Did I not have more seats? I must have run out of seats. I must have planted all the seats. <laughs> Alright, well. <coughs> what else? This what it is. Let's pop all that stuff back in here. Uh, actually, I was gonna sell the carrot. Uh, sell the carrot. We'll do that. We'll do that. Keep hold of the trash for right now. I want to go and check out the beach and see if they have a good cheap source of food. Eh, look like there might be coconuts on it. There aren't, at least not ones that are ripe. So that's okay. I got some tulips though. That's fine. I'm not going diving right now. I suppose I could have taken the teleport, huh? Let's see if the beach shack has any good food. Bread for 25 and 50 is not bad, but what do we got? Eh, bait. Grilled fish <coughs> for 60 and it's 105 versus I get 50 for 100. So that's not bad. 65 for 20 is not worth. That's better than bread, grilled fish. So that's an idea, because they don't have a kitchen just yet. And let's see, that's just a random snail. Don't need that. Coffee shop appears to be closed. Only open in the sun, I guess. What you got for me, Frank? Those are great amounts of sand, but like that does me no good. Two ninety for one thirty. Hmm. It's fifty per hundred. So that would be, or I guess we're at 65 for 105 is 130 for 210. So no, grilled fish. Okay. Got it, grilled fish. Don't want to waste um, health. That's, that's not going to work. Grilled fish. Grilled fish is our go-to at the moment. We can't get a lot of them, but we can get a few. And that'll get us further along. <laughs> so I just, I don't have a way to cook fish on our own yet. So we can't just be buying the you know, cooking the fish that we fish up ourselves just yet. We will at some point, we just aren't there yet. Oh, and I can upgrade tools here, but they will take essences. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. That's all doable. You can have this. And I can have a couple of these. Five should be plenty for right now. Then we will take the diving shrine back up to the farm and then we'll walk up to the caverns and try to get the cavern shrine on our way north. I like that plan. Let us see. Okay. 
Hi, Kenny. Fly me, Mara. What a day, huh? I was just passing by and saw you out here. Rainy, eh? I love the rain. What a day. Oh, neat. You seem to be enjoying the rain. I like it myself. In a way, rain is the beginning of all life. After the rain, everything looks so fresh and new. Whoa, whoa, my cow! Wait! A few minutes later. Whoa! That was new! I've never had a cow run away from the barn like that. She's probably confused. The rain can do that to animals. Where were we? Okay. That was... That was something. That was definitely something. Let's go mining. Wanna go mining. Going mining. Ooh, a morel. Ooh, a wasabi. Ooh, just a lot of stuff, isn't it? That's nice. I like that. Lots and lots of stuff. Stuff is good. That's some kind of a plump? I don't know. A mangosteen. Okay. A mangosteen. We got... If you want to mine with ease, then reach the bottom of the earth shrine. Alright. Well, I guess we're not yet allowed to teleport here. Way did you have, woman. Thank you. Slept much I did after ceremony. Go see goddess. I hope you have. Goom boom. Talk now, we will. Night of full moon, many, many seasons ago. Giants, I did find, frozen here in cavern. Alive they are, but unable I am to free them. Powerful magic cast. Earth, water, wind, all here. But fire, not here. Suspicious this is. Investigate I want, further in each shaft, but strong barrier prevent me, cannot enter. But you freely enter earth shaft, I have seen. Clues of white giants frozen must be inside. If go into shafts again, help me, will you, to investigate? If find anything, I can sense, and we'll come here. Okay. Very interesting. Free the Earth Giant. We just got a whole bunch of quests going on, don't we? We still need to go and give Zara a potato as well. Now here's something, if you guys haven't played this before, this took me a while to discover. That's copper. Smack it. Smack it. It's copper. And you gotta chase it a little. But that's okay because it's a massive, massive harvest spot of copper. It's awesome. Yeah, we'll, we'll look at our inventory here. There was six copper in that vein. That's just so much copper. I'm hoping we'll be able to get deeper today. Just because we have so much stamina food. But I don't know. I did still manage to waste quite a bit of time today. We 
might just get so far today and then go for distance tomorrow and try not to waste too much of my food today, but I don't know yet. I know I want to try and set off that rock explosion thing, but I don't have a lot of luck doing so. It's only 6. We've got until 2 a.m. Now we have enough time. It's okay. I know it's not a big chance, but it's still a chance. Let things explode. At some point, it occurred. It wasn't great, but it did occur. still is not all that bad. Us only being on, what is this, floor six? Not as great, admittedly. Oh yeah, these only give 60. They could have bronze ore in them. All the bronze ore is wonderful to have. Ooh. Love a good shaft entrance. Still not finding much in the way of copper, though. Or bronze. It's bronze. I know that it's bronze. I know I keep calling it copper. It is my bad. I'm used to getting... That's interesting. I'm used to getting copper and tin after playing a bunch of, of, see, we got it, a bunch of Valheim, but that's okay. Love to see more of these rock dominoes. It doesn't happen often, and I understand that, but it's so cool when it does happen. to make it three more levels. Like, the likelihood of me making it down that far is uh, not high. It's really, really not. I got a bronze ore randomly out of a rock, though, so I'll take that, I guess.
The rock domino ability does help. I'm not gonna lie. It does help. It's just not enough <laughs> of a help. We need to upgrade some things. But we have enough now that we can make a furnace. That's a lot of copper right there. So, between what we've already got at home and we're, what we're about to get out of here, that should be pretty great. This should be enough to do a little bit of something. Yes, it's midnight and we're still in the mines. If we pass out, we pass out. Like, that's just how it is tonight. We are taking all of this copper. I don't even care. We're taking all of this copper. Okay, we've got what we came for, and then some. It may not be enough, to make all of the things we want to make, but we've got some. Like, we can get in here and we can get this furnace crafted. And that's still gonna leave us with 10 more bronze, which I think will make us uh, two bars, which is not enough, I, I am aware. But two bars is better than no bars. So we'll get that furnace down. We'll get hopefully five bars at some point and we'll upgrade our site. So we've got our furnace. Um, we need this to be trapped. That's important. We're going to pin that one. Um, the next thing that we do want is we're gonna pin this one. Local produce is gonna be good. We can do it. But we'll get that bronze bar smelted so that hopefully we can get a tool upgrade fairly soon. And that's going to help us a lot with money making. <sighs> that's going to be really useful. I feel like I should go for it, but I feel like I should upgrade it. I think it's going to be a long while before we can do that, though. Um, ranching is actually separate from farming, which I find interesting. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. We've almost upgraded our combat at least the first level. Same with bug catching, so that's pretty cool. But we need to get home. We can't use the teleport yet. Oh, we're going to have to get down to the bottom of that mine shaft just so we can teleport home. Oh, this is going to be a little bit rough. We don't have time to collect anything. We just got to get in bed. We got to go. We made it. We got 40 merit points for attending the Cherry Blossom Festival. We have unlocked balls of goop, goop and slime traps, as well as upgraded our stamina. Oh, thank God for that. Um, continuing right along, maybe. Come on, buddy. There we go. So we did make 308, mostly from selling those turnips. So that's fantastic. Those are 46 pot. Carrots are better. Just flat out, they are. But right now we're going for that experience too. So we'll give it a save. And 
that'll bring us, as we save the game and end the day, to the end of another episode. If you guys like what you see, please feel free to leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey. And have a good night.